Hey guys, it's Wee Best here and we're hosting the RTN Gauntlet. Thanks to LSS for giving us the opportunity. Uh, today we're doing Katsu versus Kasai. Uh, we'll just go over my Katsu deck. It's like a normal combo Katsu. We run the Surging line all the way up to Dishonor with Bonds of Ancestry. And we play plus the Fist as well in reds and blues so that you can finish off with another four cost if you don't have a four damage, if you don't have Dishonor. The new set, Heavy Hitters, has actually given us a new card, Ancestral Harmony. And this has kind of made Katsu more combo oriented because it directly references combo cards. So I've added three spinning wheel kicks and the full six hundred wins. Considering playing the blues as well, but they only block two, so I kind of want all my blues to block three. But this just makes it a lot more consistent to actually hit off the top, and it adds a lot of cards that have go again to actually carry the plus one buff, which is really nice. We run the normal Kadachis, and we've got Mask of Momentum to go with those, to go for the third chain link. Breaking Scales is insane in Katsu, it just gets you your one block and then sits on the board the whole game. Your opponent has to play around it or let you get your huge turn. You got Heart and Cross Trap, it basically just makes your Surging Strike free so you can do your full line without a blue in your hand. And Breeze Rider Boots is really important in this build of Katsu because we're trying to go for double Bonds of Ancestry turns where you use a Bonds to find a Whelming and then the Whelming won't have go again but the Breeze Rider Boots can give it go again and then you can Bonds of Ancestry again into another finisher. And then against, Katsu, against Kasai, sorry, I'm bringing in the Mugenshi just because the game can potentially go long and I might run out of combo threats. And the Cyclone Roundhouse just for the Valiant Dynamos, which are a pain because they just block the second Kadachi every turn. Yeah. Easy, and then this is my Kasai list. Uh, <coughs> for those who don't know, Kasai mainly just wants to play off of two card hands, we'll have Blue and Go Again Enabler to just be able to swing both Centauri's for around six to nine damage and then reset your dynamos every turn. Resetting the dynamos every turn is just gonna accrue way too much value against your opponent and then pretty much gives you the edge the longer the game goes. Mm. Besides those go again enablers, we have a lot of power cards in cash in and blood in our hands. These do require us to make gold and copper tokens, which we run a lot of cards that make coppers and gold off of our hero ability. So we're able to cash these in for really powerful turns or even when we're like slightly behind to take back tempo. So super powerful cards. Blood in our hands is a key card in this matchup. I feel like you really need to get a good bot turn off against Katsu to be able to win. Uh, we also run This Round's On Me, which is another very nice card against Katsu. Yep. I've always been a fan of this card in Kasai because of the draw effect off of it to make our Centauri Sabres cheaper. And then you can also just play it off of a random Vigor that you have because it's not likely that Katsu is going to be attacking you. So you can make a Vigor off of your grains pretty often. And then for the sideboard, I'm just bringing in three Fate for Scenes and swapping them out for some Reacts because I don't expect to be blocked that much and just yep. want to block out his breakpoints. Cool. Let's get into it. Easy. Would you like the high roll, Liam? Yes. Take your trash away. From Cuts. <laughs> three. I guess so. I count 12. Six. Those are rigged dice. <laughs> Reroll. Uh, I'll go second, please. Yeah. I think if I go first, you can just block effectively, and then he also gets to block dynamo and reset it kind of thing. Okay. So we're going first. Would have liked to go second to get some dynamo triggers, maybe fill the graveyard a little bit, but we can still do so here. So, going to play an Outland Skirmish. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to pitch this yellow to swing in for four. On hit copper. Yeah. We have this in our hand, which is a bit unfortunate. Maybe we just don't play towards that this game. It's kind of it's kind of lame, but I'm gonna block with my <laughs> combo oh, line. Oh no! <laughs> so maybe if I went first, I could have snagged your boots. <laughs> <laughs> just gonna bump it up to five. Uh, yeah. I'm gonna glint. Sure. So block the hand. So I'm gonna get to draw. It's also gonna make my next one free from Kasai. So no reacts, and then. So I have the chance that I should just hold this card, but <clears throat> if I play it, I can take both cards from him. So I'm going to play this, which closes the chain, but then swing in for three. So if he blocks with an attack, goes up to four, and then we get our copper. But yeah, 
was hoping for a little bit of a better draw. Yeah. I kind of want to deny the culpa. Also, just not take damage. So, but I do want to keep this card because it's very important. You so should keep it. throwing an equipment in front. It might be, actually. Yeah, I'll block for four. Okay, nice. Four. Pass to you. Set up at Arsenal. So it's both good for us and a little bit scary that he's trying to keep a specific card. But we broke first bit of equipment. Happy with that. <clears throat> yeah. All right. I'm going to start with 100 wins for two. Yellow. <laughs> kind of an annoying one. Um, checking the yard. So we've got one yellow in there. Still need a little bit of work done. I'm actually considering just giving arms piece here, but probably too early in the game. I'll just give a block three. Sure. Uh, and then I'll just plus two this one. So just plus a value seven. damage turn. Plus seven, so not bad. Happy to just get my dynamo's value on this one. And then probably... So I can have a random arsenal. <coughs> but I think I'll just block like this, take three. Sure. One, two, three. Just to note with that, I think it's important to actually attack with the 100 wins to put it in your graveyard instead of pitching it. Smart, for, uh, smart. For bonds. So our turn's pretty simple. I'm gonna just attack for two here. Could be anything. Could be. Uh, I am gonna just clear no blocks. Haha, <laughs> reactions! It gains go again off oh of Blade my Runner. Goodness. And then, so you take two? Two. And then I'm going to attack four or five. Yep. So just a normal reset turn. Yep. Seven damage plus reset dynamos. Nice two Can't card complain. eight. Uh, I'll take the five. Sure. I'll pass to you. Dynamos oh. resets. Okay, um, I'll start with Karachi. So good rule of thumb, always take the first one. Dynamo's the second, just for the mask of momentum. What second? Oh. Boom. I've been bamboozled. <laughs> <laughs> Coming in surging for five. Surging for five. Didn't want to block last turn, which makes sense because we didn't really represent anything, so you could really have anything. Two more cards. Mm. So our hand, we could potentially block this and hope he doesn't have the gust wave, but we do get blown out if he just has the natty gust wave after this, because I don't want to give too many cards. So yeah, I think I'll take the five since our hand's pretty good. Okay. Uh, let me think. Yeah, I'm going to go for a uh, Katsu trigger to get bombs. Sure. Uh, I'm not going to shuffle because I'll bombs anyway. And then I'll play Descendant for the five. Can you please shuffle your deck after your bond search off of Katsu and then sure. present it to me? Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> so Descendant, we could get Dishonored. I don't really want to get dishonored. Um, but this one's mass trigger too. So. Yeah, exactly. So probably have to block this one, which is why we didn't block on the surgeon anyway. And they can potentially go 100 wins or something else. So always got to calculate if they can do another mask afterwards and if you can block that. So if I block here and you go bonds, whatever card Bonds gets, and Kadachi, so you can probably just give another Mass Trigger. Mm. So maybe I'm meant to give a little bit of equipment here. I don't hate it, so I'm gonna block like f this. And if you want to break in scales, I don't mind it. Interesting. Um, my plan was to Bonds for the Spinning kick, which means I'd be pitching this. 
and I think I'd rather arsenal it and pitch a random card. So I'm going to breaking scales it. Sure. Put it to six. Take one. Yep. I draw. It's a good card too. Um, like then I'll play the bonds for four. Getting the, yeah. Bonds for spinning. Ah, this was silly. Oh, well. Uh, at this point, I'm just going to get 100 wins this time. Okay, Roji. Yep. Um, the reason the spinning kick was a good line is because it would present the mask again, but I pushed it over, so I can't do it twice, obviously. Yeah. <clears throat> so, not bad. I think we can take this four down to 26. Yep, and it'll be 100 wins for three. And I'll just block this three. And then I'm just going to play Be Like Water for three. And I'll get my dynamos on there, I think. Take two? Yep. Back to you. Easy. It's a pretty big turn. Got his breaking scales out, which is actually a nice thing. Yeah, it's quite nice. That kind of sticks around half the game most yep. of the time. Yep. <laughs> it's like the third Kadachi when you get to late game. True. So it's like... You just gotta get got by it sometimes. <laughs> um, so we're gonna attack for two here. Yeah, so we oh, see. Oh, sorry, I should yeah. check my graveyard. Oh, if you can Kasai. And I can. So I'm gonna Kasai here. Banish two reds, two yellows. Yep. And then we're gonna attack for two. So on hit gold. Mm hmm. We see this card, which means we probably can't afford to block. So, yeah, no blocks. Any reactions? Yeah, I got a Blade Runner. Yep. Who would have thunk it? <laughs> Take two, you get a gold. Two gold, got two. And then I'm going gold, to man. attack for five. Okay, I'm going to get my Breeze Rider value. I think there's a chance I proc it next turn. So I'll take four. Take four. Pass to you. All right. Dynamos. Since I need to pay for this anyway, I probably don't want to be using cross strap here. So I'm just going to play a surging strike for four. Surging for four. And that's from Arsenal. Yeah. So it's the same thing as last time. General rule of thumb is if they're keeping their whole hand that they probably just have the gust wave. But, but I'm also disincentivized to block because of yeah. Saber's ability, right? Yeah, I was about to say that as well. Mm. We didn't really present that much, just a gold on hit. So I'm like leaning towards actually blocking this one. Also because our hand's subpar. Um, it's just a little bit awkward. It's on the break point, so we could play into an, an ancestral or something along those lines. Should check what colors I need in my graveyard. So I need yellows, which is not bad. So I think I'm going to block like this block four. Mm -hmm. Uh, I'm going to play Ancestral mm -hmm. first and see what we draw. Okay, that was quite good. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> I'll also respond with Art of War. Okay. So I'll banish this. So this goes up to six now? Yeah. I draw two and get plus one. Banishing plus the... Yeah. So you take two? Yeah. Uh, I'll discard and lightning strike to get bonds of ancestry. I don't know if I have an, I do have another red left. A little bit scared again, double bonds here. Yeah. 
Three cards in hand? Let me see what's in here first. So we don't have a whelming gust wave in the graveyard for bonds to search for, which means we would need a resource to fetch a descendant to do the double bonds, which we can't do, which is fine. Uh, so my next catsuit for this, right? And then descendant comes in for six. Six, so we can clean block six here. Again, just got to check the mask trigger if they can do it again. So if I should save my blocks for this or the next. So the bonds will come in for five. Yep. Then your bonds grabs like a hundred wins or a zero or whatever. And then maybe you play Arsenal. So maybe I just save my blocks for the other guy. I'm a little bit behind this game though, so maybe I just want to preserve my life a little bit. So yeah, I'll block six. Yep, uh, we'll bond. Mm -hmm. And then for five, just gonna go for a hundred wins, I believe. Yep. <clears throat> sure. Five and then so I can just block out the hundred wins Finished. and it should be all right. So yeah, I'm going to take five. Mm -hmm. And then this one is just four. And then so we do have a chance that we're meant to keep this, but I think 13 is a little bit too low. Just give them the hand. Cool. Take one. You keep it and try and draw with the gold. Hmm? Uh, okay. Awesome card. Yeah. Sure. So this is the kind of reason I brought in uh, Magenshi here, because I'm churning through all my combo cards. Mm -hmm. uh, so on our turn, we get to play our cash in mm -hmm. using one of our gold. So we're going to draw two, and then Kasai is going to activate this turn. Uh, so you potentially wanted to keep go again. Yeah, pretty interesting. So we didn't draw go again, but I'm going to try and draw a go, go again. again. Yeah, so <laughs> draw another two. Shows the value of the gold tokens. Yeah, very I good. Couldn't deny, really. One card hand, and mm -hmm. we're up to a three card hand right now. So we're also going to activate Kasai, making sure to banish the attack actions just in case we draw into our nourishings. So these go here. Banish all these, activating Kasai. And I believe we want to pitch to play this one, spoils, for some coppers as well. And then attack in for four on hit gold. And go again. Uh, there's a lot of coppers coming here. So if I don't kind of Kill you next turn. Yeah, so oh, you lost your gold, so this will give you another one. Yeah. So there's some blood on our hands potential there. Mm hmm Swords are free as hell because you drew four cards this turn. Yeah. <laughs> um, take four, take two. Yeah, all right, I'll take four. Sure, take four. So we get our gold back and two coppers. Mm-hmm. And then attack for two. True. So this one is the one that I could realistically block. Um, if I had a ha so I have this. If I had a hand where I could block a card and still play an effective turn, I would. But I think I need all my cards. Unless we just have a milling turn, but I don't think we can afford to. So I'll take two. Sure, take two. Get four, four. More, or two more copper. Mm -hmm. And that's going to reset dynamos when we pass. So a very nice zero card hand, because as you can see, we ended on an arsenal, which Crazy. is how we started. And then we're able to push a lot of damage, have enough copper for our blood on our hands turns, and reset our dynamos. Starting with be like water. Um, so at this point, I don't really think we can play around Ancestrals and such. 
So if that's the case, I think I do just block three. Hmm. Oh, look now. Just say it's fine, please. <laughs> Don't have it. Um, Yo, chill out a bit. <laughs> Always got to check your graveyard with this deck. Same here, actually. Yeah. That's good because a lot of decks in Flesh and Blood don't really rely on the graveyard. Mm. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to react with Art of War. He had it. I always have it. I could potentially just not banish this, but I think I just want to go big this turn. So we'll banish Dishonor. Uh, Plus one and draw two. Sure. And then, and then two random draws in it. Yeah. Okay. So that's up to four. I don't yep. know if you want to react yeah. or anything. No, take, take one. one. Uh, yeah, Katsu will discard. Mm -hmm. I'm guessing you want to name it Head Jab. On that? Yeah. I'm going to go for Surging Strike, actually. Interesting choice. Mm -hmm. Can't say I agree. But alas. <laughs> <laughs> Not too bad, we managed to draw a Fluster Fist to Bonds for now. Uh, so we've got this one in Arsenal, which is after a Surging, so it is five. Five from the Art of War. Get then to see the power of Art of War this game. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> crazy card. Bonds coming afterwards. He's got one floating, so there is potential for double bonds. Is this from Arsenal? That's from Arsenal, yeah. So this is the random. The random off Art of War. Yeah, and I've cut it already. So since it's a random draw off Art of War, we can lean into playing that he doesn't have another Gust Wave or something, maybe. Tough spot, though. And that's a red bonds. Mm-hmm. So last time we had to lean on the RNG a little bit by playing, blocking out and playing off of a one card hand and it worked out and we might have to go for that again. Because if we block out five and then he goes four and we cover it with that as well. And then he goes, uh, I guess he's got one floating so he can afford a Descendant if he has a random draw bond as well, so I just have to pray that he doesn't have it. And if that's the case, I think I block like this. And then go to reactions, mm -hmm. and then do this fate. So this fate opt is important because it's gonna tell me if I can play a one card hand off of this gold yeah. and leave that on top, so. Awesome, no reacts from me. Yep. Uh, bonds for five, mm -hmm. searching for a flash fist. So I don't have the okay, nice. the goods. <laughs> so the thing here though is when they search Fluster and they have one floating, they can still present Mass Trigger off of that Kadachi, which is kind of annoying. Yeah, because if it's Dishonor, you want it after this. Exactly. Yeah. So um, I do think I'm just going to potentially block here, and then since we know the top card, lean like that. There is the potential he just has the Dishonor here because it is a Descendant line, but we don't have the luxury this game to get to play around everything. Fair enough. Because um, if he attacks here, I guess we can block the Fluster that we're scared of, the Mask. Which is probably smart actually, so yeah, we're going to have to take 5 down to 10. Yep. Um Okay, I'm going to tackle this Kadachi for one. Yeah, take one down to nine. So this next card will threaten Mask and Momentum. Usually I would try an Arsenal card like this, but <clears throat> because it threatens Mask, if I do end up drawing, I want to have something to Arsenal yeah. instead um, of having two. So it's for four as well? Mm. Okay, so I'll give you this as well. Yep, and then this is five. Five, and we've probably got to keep this. 
probably just have to throw my grains in so I can get my full block value out of it over this turn and next turn. So take, take three. three. Cool. We are under the pump. Big turns. And, and then this is where the Kadachis come in as well. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay, but the Fate Opt was nice because we know we can just pitch into gold here. So draw a card, we're gonna have one floating. Blade Runner. Uh, spoils. Oh, nice. One. So you can play Spoils off the floating. Our Saber's gonna be free this turn and I'm also gonna activate Kasai. Two reds, two yellows. So on hit, more copper, more gold, swing in for four. Hmm. And then since we go go again, we're gonna reset our dynamo. So potentially, well, a good way to see that is just gaining one life, sometimes more. So six damage this time. Mm -hmm. Unless you got another pump, zero. Uh, take the first four. Sure. And then we get our gold back. So. Yep. Six coppers as well. Yeah, up to six coppers and then swing for two. Um, I definitely want to cast this this turn because with these two does the good thing. And then probably have to keep this in my hand as well as a zero and resources. So I'll take two. Sure. Down to 15. Go up to eight copper. Mm -hmm. Anything after six isn't too scary. So pass back. We said dynamos. Yeah. If you reach 10 and you don't have a gold, you can cash in and blood. Yeah. Right? Use, like that's yeah. the next break point kind of thing. Uh, we're going to lead on Ancestral Harmony. So we'll banish the top. Ding, ding, ding. Whelming. Interesting. Okay. That's banished. Um, this card's pretty good for a blue. It's a very good blue. Because <laughs> now we're coming in for three with this Descendant now. Three Descendant. I'm guessing he has a Bonds. So he can potentially double Bonds here. We might have to just pull block out once again. So I will do that. Block three. Yeah, I'm going to Ancestral it. I hate my life. <laughs> Mum picked me up. Take one. Thinking. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I'll discard. Oh. The thing is, I don't know how many bonds are actually left in the deck. I don't think there is two. There's one yellow. Two yellow. Okay. <laughs> it's pretty good. Just the perfect number. Yep. So... You going to crack boots there or...? Yes, I do have yeah. to do that because this doesn't have go again. Exactly. This coming in for four because of the harmony. Oh, this is insane. Judge my opponent. <laughs> my opponent missed the trigger on cracking Breeze Rider boots. He actually declared. Okay. Okay. I think that's Didn't my work. only out. <laughs> that's <yeah>. the out. <laughs> no judge at the event actually, so unfortunate. <laughs> How much? Four. That is four. Yeah. Uh, double bonds turn with ancestral. <laughs> Crazy. Okay. A block like this. What did I bonds for? I didn't do bonds. Yeah, you got to do the bonds dinner. effect. Which gets me the other yellow one. I'm like, hang on a minute. Uh, then we're going to throw the two Kadachis in. For one. So we'll take this one. Uh, another one. I guess I give you my grains. Yep, so that stops my chain. Uh, this is... Go again, so it's four. And it's four. Yeah, this is gross. Okay. Just block three, take one. Then the bonds is also four. four. Let me search. <clears throat> I think our only out here is he misclicks and chooses the wrong one. And has none in his deck. Search for the card I don't have. <laughs> so there's one plus the fist, 100 wins in there. Yeah, I'm one plus the fist in here. Yep, 
So we'll get one of those. Block three, take one. Yeah. I'll just save this D-React for, the, for the last link. At the end. <laughs> Thinking, for five. Uh, no blocks, reactions? Last priority. I'm going to take five here. GG, GG bro. <laughs> Holy crap. <laughs> okay, I just got smoked. <laughs> that was fire. Yeah. This matchup doesn't usually go that way. Yeah. So. <laughs> I felt like I had some good crack back one card hand turns as yeah, well. Yeah, but I just didn't and have like, a bad turn yeah. the whole game. Art of Wars, Art of Wars. The Ancestral Harmony on your four card hand was insane. Yeah. Hit whelming, best possible hit. Oh. <laughs> Red two. First whelming I've seen them. That game. Weird. I think, yeah, on that final turn, my out was I was going to try and keep one card and then I have to pitch the gold again and then draw blood on her hands. Exactly. And then that was like my only yeah. way to get back in the game. With Blade Flurry. With Blade Flurry. So... I think I set it up for my only way to win. Yeah. I just needed you to have an off turn there. But Fair enough. No guy, no breaks on this train, baby. <laughs> two, two all the way. Yeah. Um. <laughs> that was messed up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I think that just shows how snowbally and like really good Katsu is. Yeah, I mean, a lot of games you won't have those turns back to back like I just did. Mm. But whenever you do have surging or descendant, you can potentially present those turns. Because like yeah. if your opponent can't cover your like your plus ones, like how had Art of War and Ancestral, mm -hmm. you just get you obviously get your cards back from because they draw cards and then you can discard a zero and just send the whole chain again. Yeah, exactly. So you really need to make sure you're arsling those two cards as a starters. So descendant or Surging Strike, because mm. that just lets you play crazy turns. Yeah, and your opponent, I just had to play <clears> the <throat> guessing game so many times. That's like, exactly right. You don't know what to block. You don't mm. know. I got got by the breaking scales on purpose so I could stop playing around them. Yeah. And then the next two turns you had Ancestral both times. Yeah, exactly. And I was like, it's like, what? Well, then why did I get got by this? <laughs> but then, um, yeah, I love Katsu because it's kind of like Dorinthia where you just send your, whenever you send a Surging Strike, yeah. it's like, you right. see your opponent go. <laughs> What's going or on? Or whenever you send a Dawnblade with no buffs, then they're like, What's going Four on? Four cards yeah. in hand. Yeah. <laughs> Could be anything. <laughs> yeah, it's so good. All right, guys, thanks for watching the video, and we'll see you in the next one.